We're so full of what we need and what we want that we're not available to what is. The world has become so incredibly stressful between busy hospitals, trying to become a famous comedian, and comparing myself to people online. It's no wonder that my anxiety is through the roof. We're constantly on a search for the next best thing, a mindfulness tactic that's gonna actually make a difference for us. And that's when I heard about gong bath. A gong bath is bathing in sound. Yes. I also don't understand it. We've gone from yoga to apps to puppy therapy. Could gonging be the next big thing? We are heading to South Manchester to meet a guy called Martin who owns a gong spa. No idea what that means, but we'll find out. We've arrived and we're literally in the middle of nowhere. I'm sat in my car in this eerie small town on the edge of Manchester. And I think that's the place. I am in the gong spa with Martin, but I wonder if you could tell us what it's about. For, for my part, I'll be playing these gongs a way that is always evolving. So there's no set piece per se. And then there are other instruments as well. Things that sound like uh, leaves and rain and the ocean. So they all have their place in the, in the sound journey. A normal session is around an hour. They lay down with all the stuff and the eye mask, you know, a little lavender in the eye mask. And, and they just are so immersed so deeply into it. They speak directly to you, just to okay. the very core of who you are, of what it is to be human, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's so intimate, it's surprising. You're playing your instruments. Yes. And people are lying down. Yes. What's the point? <laughs> um, <laughs> because it's gorgeous. First thing that struck me was, oh my God, this sounds amazing. The first time I had one. Beautiful, I've been a musician forever and a meditator forever and like nothing I'd ever heard. It was like being given meditation on a um, plate. Meditation's elusive, <laughs> you know. It's, every time you sit, there's like a new challenge before you to, to find your way to your inner depth and your inner silence, you know. The yeah. gongs just seem to light the way, a little candle lit path inwards yeah. to, your, to your depth. I just get so distracted mm -hmm. and I'm also thinking about all the things I need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our lifestyles these days lend themselves to the experience that yeah. they're speaking of. Is it a replacement for a normal bath? <laughs> Let's get into it. Cool. So here Martin told me that lying on the floor you can actually lose a lot of body heat, which is why he told me to cover up with a blanket and use a weighted eye mask scented with lavender to cover my eyes. Sometimes you feel tempted to look up and see what's going on, which is fine. There's something amazing about not breaking the experience by looking around, you know. Mm. So keep it out. I know this is really not done in YouTube videos, but for the next minute, I want you to close your eyes. I know in this fast paced era, scrolling through videos, you could move on, but trust me, close your eyes, focus on the sound, and I'll tell you when it's time to wake up.
As I lay there on the floor, I was enveloped by the noise. The noise turned into a heavy liquid surrounding me. My mind raced like it normally does when I meditate, but it kept on bringing me back to the center, to the sound of the gongs, to the deep vibrations within myself. I can't explain what happened next, but I went on a journey. Like I was being told a story except with no words, and as strange as this sounds, through the sounds I felt so many different emotions. Okay, now it's time to wake up. Just bring your awareness back to your breathing. Just noticing that. That was amazing. Good, good. Then there was points where it was almost like I had a blanket on top of me. I, I, obviously I did have a blanket, <laughs> but like another blanket of noise. I just felt this heaviness on top mm, of the blanket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the gongs themselves are neutral yeah they have all the darkness and light that you have certain sounds which just made you feel like you're in a completely different place yeah there was one in particular that sounded a bit like a rainforest when that sound came and there was another sound like a bird you're so deep inside mm. the noise that you completely forget where you are you just imagine yourself being in a different place and I was almost in a forest yeah. For, for, yeah. For, for so long. It's crazy. You just don't know until you're on the mat. Suddenly it's a, a physical experience is happening because that was what was right in the moment and you were ready for it. You were mm -hmm. available to it. We're so full of what we need and what we want that we're not available to what is and what is is the only thing. You know? Yeah. I've never been so introspective as I was at points in that. It's just completely mm -hmm different to anything else. So I guess what's the point of this? I think we're just so busy now, trying to keep up our jobs, our friends, our social media, that it's nice just to stop for once. To have nothing to focus on but the noise. And for someone like me who struggles to concentrate through meditation, could this be the answer?